guys, so it's me again, Paul P. And welcome to the show. Well, first of all, uh, I'm back in Manila. And I'm actually shooting my first vlog here since I got back from Canada. Well, I've been getting a few emails and messages from friends and relatives saying that I should try this new buffet at this re newly renovated boutique hotel called Admiral. So here I am. I'm here in Admiral Hotel and we will check out the food because I heard it is interactive. You see, there's a big table there. There are projectors on the ceiling where they can project uh, an image on the table and you can eat. And while eating, you can see the animations and stuff. That would be awesome, but I'm not a fan of that because I'll be vlogging for you guys. So we're going to focus on the food and hopefully it's good. Tara, let's go check out the food. Hey guys, so our first plate. As usual, we got the usual suspects of hargao, some sushi, nigiri sushi, uh, kani and mango, two kinds of shumai, pork and chicken. And we'll start off with the nigiri sushi. I will with this one with the kani and mango. Mm. The sushi is really good. Why? Because the rice breaks in your mouth even before you bite. It's that good. And the crab they use is imitation crab, but it has a really crabby flavor and it's really good. Now we'll try their nigiri sushi ebi with a bit of soy sauce. Oh, see? Look at this, guys. I told you, look at that. You can see the individual granules. The rice is not smushed, which is good. Mm. The shrimp is fresh. And believe it or not, it's really juicy. Oh, no, it's really juicy though. Now we'll try their pork shumai. I thought this was the chicken one. This is actually pork. It it's actually pork and shrimp. It tastes good, but it it may it lacks a bit of soy sauce. We'll dip it in a bit of soy sauce. There. So much better. Okay. Now let's try their chicken shumai. Look at this. A lot less fatty. It tastes that chicken flavor. But for me, I still prefer the pork one. Pork sound is much better for me. Now we'll try this this hargao. Mm. The skin is a bit thick for the hargao, but the filling is really fresh shrimp. 
so good. We'll try this with a bit of soy sauce. There. It's a bit of soy sauce. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Okay. Now we'll move on to our additional because this took, took quite a while for them to reheat. This is their lechon Macau. We'll give this one a bite first. I was just about to text you. Really good. Thank you. The skin is crunchy and really good. Um, it was so good. How do I say it? It's so good that. The crunchy skin it's actually getting, getting it's kind of making me speechless. The skin is crunchy, nice and juicy. And believe it or not, we're gonna try it with that bit, bit of that sauce. Mm. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Where do you want to finish? I'll finish my first plate, then we'll go for a second round after this. See ya. Okay guys, we got our second plate. Here's what we got. This is the slipper lobster. We have croquetas, lechon, gambas ajillo, salpicao, Cajun pork, piri piri chicken, the whole wing or the flats of the roast turkey, and a few slices of Peking duck, but they don't have the wrapper. So I just got the Peking duck with a bit of hoisin sauce okay so we will try this out one by one we'll start off with the piri piri chicken look at that chicken is nice and moist nice and toasty nice and charred look at that oh yeah you gonna give us a try mmm It's very flavorful. You can really taste the chicken. And that piri piri sauce has a nice subtle kick. Not too spicy though. More of savory kick. Next, we will try the lechon croquetas. Or croquetas lechon. Croquetas is basically a potato dumpling stuffed with something else. In this, in this one, they stuffed it with lechon. I'll give this one a try. Mm. The outside is crunchy, like audible crunchy. Then the inside is so fluffy, potatoey, and that lechon perfectly complements everything and that sauce on top adds a certain sweetness to it that actually works really well okay now we'll try their Cajun pork I thought it was Inihon Baboy or Lechong 
Ni hao. <laughs> but we'll try this one. Mm. Now that has a kick. Woo! A nice kick. Spicy kick. Yeah. But flavor wise, it's really good. Actually, it's best pork so far. Now we'll try their salpicao. Salpicao looks a bit dry. But. Oh, no. I was wrong. It's really juicy at the corner there. But I'll give this one a try. Mm. Don't judge it until you try it. Okay? That is juicy. Very flavorful and juicy. Next, we will try their Gambas Ajillo. Gambas Ajillo is supposed to be spicy. Shrimp sauteed in garlic and olive oil. That shrimp is so fresh, I felt as if it was still swimming in Manila Bay. And believe it or not, it feels like it's still alive in my mouth. That's how fresh it is. Now, here we will try with the challenge. How are we gonna eat this crab or lobster? Coracha. Move to the pork to the side. I'll give this one a try. Hmm. Oh, we have. We we'll just get a bit. We'll try a bit then. I will go and hope all hands on deck this for this one. Pardon me. <laughs> but I'll try this a bit. Oh, yeah. It's sweet, buttery. Nicely flavored. Oh, only it wasn't a hard thing to eat, like hands on thing. It would have been so much better. <laughs> My tita just went crazy in the Spanish. Okay, now I will try their, their, two, their turkey. We'll try this one out. Look at that. Look at this. The turkey. Skin is crunchy. Very flavorful. And the nice thing about it is, I'm going. I, good thing I got the wing. I love the wing. The wing is perfect. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this after. Can I turn off my camera? But for now, we'll move on to our last item here, which is that crunchy skin, picking duck. Look at that. Believe it or not, believe it or not, this is the best way. This, a bit of poison. Wow. This is our good. Almost every day, That's really good. And it could take all, takes all the all the spices in that semi crunchy skin. They actually roast it, but they dry it out some more. And then when you're about to eat, they'll deep fry it for you. Sad to say, they didn't have that pancake thing where you can make your own wrap. Anyways, it's still delicious. Okay, so I'll finish my meal off camera so I can use my hands and I'll get back to you on the third plate. See ya.
Okay, guys, so for our second to the last plate. Oh, well, third to the last plate. Uh, <laughs> here's what I got. We'll try their calamares. Oh, yeah, they have calamares. I got more of the gambas. This is rabbit cassoulet, uh, sous vide pork belly, and beef bourguignon. A boeuf bourguignon, sorry. My friends. Boeuf bourguignon. So we're going to try this. <laughs> Calamares first. The calamari is tender. Super crunchy. It's like audio wise, super crunchy. Then my tita told me I should have gotten the mayonnaise with it. But I like my calamares au natural. So here it is, look at that. Calamare. Mm. Mm. That's one of the most tender calamare I've had ever here in the Philippines. Okay, so now we will try this one, this sous vide pork belly. Nice and fatty. Mm. It melts in your mouth, like really melts in your mouth. It's so good. Ooh. It's so fatty and succulent. It's really good. Wow. Now we will try some of this beef bourguignon. Oh, it's nice and tender too. Hopefully, it's not dry. Oh. Mm. That booth begin on will make Julia Child proud. Honestly, that is good. Now, we'll try the exotic stuff. We're going to try some of the rabbit. There. Cassoulet is a bean dish with certain pro proteins, but the thing about cassoulet, it's called cas. It's actually one of the heaviest dishes in the French repertoire. Okay, it's really heavy, but I didn't get the beans. I just got the meat, so we'll try this out. Once again, that. Rabbit melts in your mouth. <laughs> Zero gaminess. All in all, you can taste the the beans. It's really good. It's slow cooked until it's super tender. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm just waiting for my seafood plate, and that will be my last main course plate or serving. Then we're going for dessert afterwards. See ya. Okay guys, so this is our last plate of main course. We're having dessert afterwards. They do have oysters. They have baked oysters and some of them with cheese and some of the fresh ones. But I'm not a fan of oysters. So we'll try the seafood. I made a mistake a while ago. I got the kuracha. I thought that was slipper lobster. I was wrong. That's just kuracha. This is the slipper lobster. Look at that. Look at that. How you get it? It's like this. You twist and you pull. Oh, nice. I had to find out what the there. Yeah. 
you you forget Blair. the name of the one. We'll try it as Blair. S first. The one, the one, uh, ano na yun? Mm -hmm. The one in Rockwell, in Tapas. Really nice yeah, and sweet. <laughs> really good. Not no brininess, no nothing. It's really just sweet, sweet slipper lobster. Now we'll try it with the soy sauce. Oh. oh yeah. A bit salty because of the soy sauce. I over dipped it. But it's flavorful. Now we'll try this. There's shrimp. For me, the albas in Estancia is not as nice as the old albas in Polaris. Remember the Polaris one? Even if it's old now. There. Peel the shrimp with a knife and fork. Okay. We'll try this. The oh my god. I like somebody boiled sugar and just dipped it in there. It's that sweet. Oh my god. Now we'll try this, some of this crab claw. Oh yeah. You all want to go out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You all want to go out. So, if you are free, you might want to join us and you can go free. You did? Mm. Number three, come. That's so good, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's sweet. <laughs> really crabby, though. I, I wish they can use that for the Kalima, the California Maki, but it's really good. Okay, I'm going to enjoy my seafoods, and then I'm going to take my dessert afterwards. All in all, food here is really good. I'll give you my review after the dessert. Okay. Okay guys, so our last plate, we have marshmallows with dark chocolate, marshmallows with white chocolate, pavlova right here, we have a creme brulee, opera cake, and banana cake with chocolate mousse, then we also have ice cream. I already took a bite because I couldn't resist. They have Mindanao dark chocolate and Salted caramel. We'll try the we'll try the Mindanao dark chocolate first. Oh yeah. Mm. Nice and bitter, full flavored, not very sweet, but the flavor of that chocolate is like full full bodied. That's a perfect term for it. Full body. Then we're going to try their salted caramel ice cream. Mm. That salted caramel ice cream is so caramelly. It's like really good salted caramel. Mind-blowingly good. Okay, so now let's start with our main desserts. Mm, we'll start with this. Creme brulee. You know it's creme brulee when you hear this? That crunch? Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff. Look at my oysters. I'm gonna try this one. Mm. 
<laughs> that creme brulee is like leche flan on steroids. <laughs> really. It's toasty, it's nutty, <laughs> creamy as hell. Oh my. <laughs> leche flan on steroids, guys. Look at that. Oh. Mm. Now, <laughs> we'll try this. <laughs> this. <laughs> Okay, this is the banana cake. Looks a bit dry though, but we'll give it a try. That. Oh. Scratch that, it's not, not dry at all. It's really moist. But the chocolate is too fudgy for me. It actually counters the flavor of the banana a bit now let's try their marshmallows this is actually one of the things that i love used to love to make in the house the marshmallows you can make marshmallows by using um glucose with sugar and then you add gelatin and then you whisk it together you make marshmallows you can even shape it your own and mold it in cornstarch okay we'll give this one a try it's not that sweet. That's good. Really good. Wow, ah, that's good marshmallow. Not too sweet though. Not not very flavorful. Okay, guys, this is a pavlova. Believe it or not, pavlova is a meringue topped with either creme chantilly. And topped with veg with some delicious fruits. Now, it is actually named the Pavlova because back there was a Russian ballet dancer who, named Pavlova, and whenever she was dancing, she was so graceful and she was she was like floating. And the chef wanted a dessert made. I want it as light as a Pavlova. And that's why it's called a Pavlova. See. Mm. Oh, it kind of makes you want to dance. Is that good? Everything, the fruits were fresh. <coughs> Some of the brand went down the wrong hole. The meringue is really nice, nice and light. Very flavorful. <laughs> it's it's like eating a cloud full of fruity goodness. Okay, now let's move on to our last item here, which is the opera cake. They slice it so so small that it's actually one bite. It's basically a layer of jocon cake, uh, buttercream. Chocolate buttercream or coffee buttercream, and the brown stuff there in, in the cake is actually coffee syrup. So I'll give this one a try. Mm. It tastes like coffee. It's like the best dessert to have it with coffee. Believe it or not, I've tried and failed making this in school and it's actually one of the, my biggest downfalls of a cake it's hard to make but it's really really rewarding it's gorgeous okay so i will finish my meal and i'll give you my review of Ad the admiral hotel's buffet afterwards okay yeah. Okay guys, so I finished my meal here in Admiral Club and Admiral Hotel. So, <laughs> I'll give you my review of it. We'll base it on the five criteria, location, ambiance, service, food, and price. Now, let's we'll start with location. Location, it's easily accessible. Here, it's along Ross Boulevard, Corner Carino, near Hospital of Manila. Now, the nice thing about it is they have ample parking until the sixth floor and they have parking in front of the hotel 
So, no issues with that. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to give location a good 4 out of 5. Okay? Now, let's talk about ambiance. Ambiance, it's very cozy. The tables are far enough from each other that you won't bump into your neighbor. And it feels more like a formal setting, but it doesn't make you feel formal. It's like, it, it's not very, um, parang, how do I say it? It, it? it feels like home, but on a formal sense. That you can still do what you want, or get what you want, without he fearing people judging you. So with that in mind, I'm going to give ambiance a good 5 out of 5. Okay? Now, service. Personally, I en enjoy the staff. The staff are very friendly, very accommodating. Specifically, not to me, but to my tita and to my mom. Uh, my tita and my mom are both senior citizens and believe it or not, they did actually stand up. It's, the staff or, would ask them, Ma'am, would you like something? Would you like something? And they brought it to them with no problems, no issues. I feel as if we were treated here like kings. So with that in mind, I can give... Most likely, if I can give him a 6 out of 5, I would give him a 6 out of 5. But for now, it's a good 5 out of 5 for service. Okay? Now, let's talk about the food. Food-wise, most of the dishes are delicious. There are certain hit and misses, like the Peking duck. I wish they had that crepe with them. You could put like a piece of scallion on it and some hoisin and you could wrap it yourself. That would have made it better. And then we could, they have a lot of beef dishes and a lot of pork dishes, which is really good. It's super tender. Some of them were a bit dry. The turkey was a bit dry, but I like wings, so no problem with that. The dish I loved here the most had to be the gambas ahillo and uh, their creme brulee. It's like le leche flan on steroids, honestly. Okay? So with that in mind, I'm going to give food a good 4 out of 5. Now, price. It is a bit more than what I usually pay for a buffet. But it's not as expensive as Sofitel. I spent roughly about 3,000 pesos per person here. But with the amount of food that they have, the quality of food they have, it's so well worth it okay so well worth it with that in mind I'm going to give the price a good 4 out of 5 okay that was an, um, um, ah, kind of, I'm mumbling on my words because it's so good the food is so good the service overall experience here I enjoyed it for the first buffet meal since I got from Canada this is something to be really memorable for me okay so with that in mind I would like to thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one hopefully it will be an a la carte or a cookie video okay so don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one and tara kain tayo bye bye